Hi everyone, this is Alaire Games, and today I'm watching episode 13 of Dr. Stone. Uh, yeah, let's just get started. I'm looking forward to seeing what they do with the, the acid. I'm a bit concerned. Also, I didn't even notice that I wasn't even reading that. I guess I kind of understood everything they were saying. I forgot we need to turn on subtitles for this show. This is basically a technology tree from uh, <laughs> Civilization. Those are oddly detailed. Masked Warrior. They've made some pretty complex uh, alchemical... Well, I don't know what to call those. Chemistry equipment. Didn't I mention that last episode? So many different types of acid. Fluorine and sulfur. Ah, uh, chlorine, I think. Maybe. I'm not good at chemistry. I never even had a chemistry class. Uh, I don't think she's going to be happy about that. <laughs> All right, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Sodium bicarbonate. And that's like, I mean, it shows it's soap, but I've heard of that being soap. I guess that comes first, then. First making sure she doesn't marry someone and then curing her. I do wonder how they're going to make it so that the uh, assistant is able to marry the sister. Nobody expected it, so I guess there wasn't any rules against it. I guess it's like the Air Bud thing was like, it's not against the rules for a dog to play basketball. Although I just compared a girl to a dog, but you know what I mean. <laughs> hmm. 
There's no rules about a dog playing basketball. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I was wondering if he was going to make, like, tear gas or something, because I think he made, like, uh, chlorine, and then he also also acquired ammonia. Those two mixed together, I think, make uh, mustard gas. I think. I may be wrong. <laughs> yeah, she's willing to do anything at this point. I'll never get over those eyes, I think. I mean, it's already been 13 episodes and I'm still like, eh. It's been that long, huh? He has some crazy hair. What? That's something odd. Is she something? As do I at this point. I didn't expect that. Are you going to participate too? His balls. <laughs> His wee wee. His pee pee, if you will.
Or they can rig it somehow. I predict bad luck. <laughs> Everyone's face was amazing there. Hey, I know how you feel. I play Fate Grand Order. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he would do that. Why are you drinking it? Well, okay. Ah, oh, really? Really? You're that much of a scumbag? Or are you just lying? I mean, that's still scummy, but... I, like, I was thinking maybe he pushed her in or something. They're strangely confident about... <laughs> the stability of that uh bridge just kick him off right here Also, I don't know why I just, I didn't notice that their names were, like, connected. Magma and, uh, I think she called them Mantle. We never, uh, solved his glasses problem. Oh, you swing that way, huh? <laughs> I 
because you have a spear now, maybe golden. Oh man, I thought I was going to make a spear joke. Wow, that's a lot of percent, Senku. Everyone will be able to see if you do that. Oh, he tied her up. All right. Well, that's better than the worst case scenario. I don't know how she can do that. How do you do that? Well, I guess she's... I mean, I was about to say, if she gives him the, the helmet and it works, that'd be a pretty big coincidence that they have the same, like, eyesight. Wow, he could take a beating. <laughs> How does he know what they look like? You can sure spin fast. That's not stairs work. The eyes of science. <laughs> Nice. It's like he's always had a handicap, so now it's kind of like in Naruto when uh, <laughs> when Rock Lee takes off the the ankle weights.
I think he looks much better with that than uh, the girl does. Dang it, it's over. Oh, man, I like this show a lot. That was a good fight, and I'm glad that the eye thing was resolved with him, but at the same time, I do feel it's kind of incredibly coincidental that it was the exact same prescription. <laughs> um, yeah. Because even, like, between your two eyes, there's still, like, minor differences, and especially compared between two people. Just someone's glasses are not going to work on you. I don't know. Just a little too big of a coincidence for me. It would have been better if, like, Senku had had everyone take the test. And maybe, like, waited until the last moment to actually say, oh, I made you some glasses because I could see you're actually really blind. Uh, so he wouldn't have had to admit it. Him admitting it would probably have been a good thing, though. Like, it would have... He would have been able to push past his pride instead of somebody else figuring it out on their own, though. Um, yeah, great episode. Looking forward to the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.